What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World. And what we're going to be talking about today is how to unlock any Team Diamond player. Now, the Team Diamond is a very, very huge thing at the launch of Madden 19. And a lot of people are going to be going through a lot of things to get these cards. Now, the first thing that I want you guys to understand is you do have to be a month level 15 in order to unlock this, okay? So this will be completely locked unless you have that situation uh, completed. Now, when you first come in, this is what I want you to pay attention to because most of the sets, they're going to have what's called an exchange set where you can put something in it and it can help you to attain certain things within whatever you're doing. So, for instance, this is the Team Diamond set. As other sets come out, they will always or usually always have something at the top that will help you get things that go into the sets. All right, so there's that. that's just a really, really a clutch mutt tip that you guys can understand. So instead of going crazy trying to get every single card that goes into a set, sometimes it's very, very simple to just look at what EA is offering you first. Okay, so in this situation right here, if you read the bottom, it says you can add two silver tokens and one gold token to earn a fantasy pack where you choose a team, then 170 plus overall player item out of the three options that is required in the team diamond set. So pretty much what you could do is you could start making tokens now and you can get a 74 plus overall player that goes into any one of these team diamond player sets. Okay, so um, this is what you have to do. This year, right now, as of right now, you can't buy a, uh, uh, any tokens. You only can make them, okay? So with that situation being said, it's a little bit different than what we just coming off of uh, Madden 18. But keep in mind, Madden 18 started off the same way also. And then they started to allow us to sell tokens and, um, you know, make coins off of those things, all right? So pretty much that's what you would have to do to get, you know, you can, you know, use that and it's repeatable. And it doesn't give you a limit. So that can be, un, you know, just keep doing it, keep doing it for one team. See how many players you can get, okay, for the same team that you want. Now, this is a very, very interesting thing. Okay, we're going to go through the teams. You got Adrian Amos. You got Atkins, White, okay. You got Chris Harris Jr. You can see the overalls are different. They vary, okay. So, you know, if you're building a team, you know, you got Landry. Just because of specific players that you want, it might be, you know, in your best interest to look because the cost is going to commensurate or it's going to apply depending on the player it's going to probably equal out like this dude right here he's very very slow right so what happens is he's not going to be a guy that for the most part everybody's going to be going after because when you start off in madden ultimate team you, you're pretty much primarily looking for speed like this guy might be something that people go after okay it might be something that you want to do kelsey he might be something you want to do but in the mo in most cases oh this guy definitely this guy definitely right here. Hold on, do, don't I have one of his power? I think I have a power up for this guy, but I gotta look. I'm gonna I'm gonna get to that in a second. But I'm just going through, letting you guys see what's going on. Jones, you know, uh, Lane Johnson. Who we got? Julio Jones. That guy's he's a stud. Also, his cards are gonna be worth a lot. You know, you got Ruben Foster. Okay, who OBJ is gonna be something serious. This is my guy. This is the guy that I know. Once I get, I don't need another corner until around you know Christmas time. In all seriousness, I'm I'm being very very honest about that. Okay, you got Williamson, Matthew Stafford. If you want some sick throw power, he might be that guy. Okay, uh, Bakhtiari, he's a good lineman. He's going to be going for a lot because that's a very, very high overall lineman to start the year. So, again, guys, listen. Make sure you understand that a lot of the teams you're going to be playing in mud head-to-head, -head, they're going to be psychopaths that spent $75 million on the game. If they have linemen like this, it's going to be very, very difficult to get in on blitzes and stuff like that because from what I've been seeing... The old line is just really wild, bro. It's really, really wild. Greg Olson, he's always been a stud. Tom Brady, he's the GOAT. All right, so a lot of people are going to be trying to get this guy, okay? But Assimile? Well, uh, uh, yeah, Assimile. I think that's how you say his name. Uh, Raider fans, check in. Kelichi. You know what I'm saying? He's in there. Ndamukong Sue is there. Yonder's there. Kerrigan, okay? This guy, I wouldn't even try to, you know, get done. You know, I, I'm not hating on the Saints because I love me some ladder goat. But this guy right here... I, I had him last year when he did the playoff version of him in Madden 18. He sucked. Earl Thomas III, we already know about that. Um, Le'Veon Bell, probably going to be a stud. J Look, Jadavion Clowney is going to be sick. He, he, yo, from what I'm seeing so far in this game, he's going to be a monster. Okay? Yeah, we already know. Delaney Walker, he's, he's you know, he's what he, whatever, but I do is sick. Xavier Rhodes, he's another 92. And then you got the master, Ronnie Lott. Okay, so turning all 32 Team Diamond collectibles to earn the 94 overall Team Diamonds master Ronnie Lott with three times chemistry and two defensive scheme chemistry slots. So what happens is you got, you guys get a collectible for each one. So it's 32 of them, all right? And I just went through all the 32 players. Now I'm going to use Jalen Ramsey as, as an example of how you're going to be able to complete any one of them. 
So when you click on your on, on this thing, right, when you click on the player that you want to complete, you're going to see that EA has gone back to the old days to where the cards are specific. They usually had wild cards, okay, um, where it could say any card with this thing, any card from the team. Now it's specific cards, okay? So you're going to have to find these cards. Right now, because a lot of people don't have the game, a lot of the cards are not going to be available in the auction house because I'm giving you this stuff really, really early. So by the time you get the game, most of you guys, all of these cards are going to be available. Now, you're going to notice that the prices of these cards are going to be very, very high, okay? A lot of these prices are going to be very, very high, with the exception of Blake Bortles. I don't see why anybody would pay any more than $5 for Blake. Oh, oh, what's he doing? Oh, he's in there. 9,500 coins they want? He, that, that's probably pretty cheap. I got to see what the other elites are um, and try to check their prices to see... If um, anybody else is pulling these cards. Okay, so nobody pulled Jalen Ramsey yet. Okay, but that's what you're going to have to do pretty much. And you're going to have to figure out what you're willing to spend. You see why? You see how his price is that high? Primarily, it's only that high because he's part of this set. So if you pull that card, don't sell it right now. Hold on to it. If you got the game early, or you know what I'm saying? Or if you get the game around the time that you're watching this video, you might want to check to see what the going rate is. But the prices of these cards are going to be very, very expensive. Okay, so the team diamonds, these cards, you know, the one depending on the ones that you choose to do, are gonna be very, very pricey. Okay, like this guy. Why would you spend this kind of coin for an 84 overall, 84 overall elite? It doesn't make any sense. But he's part of the set, so you're gonna have to hold on to these things. Okay, so every team is gonna have specific players. Okay, they're gonna have specific players to the cards. Now, if you're not planning on, you know, completing the set and you pull stuff from you know, whatever, from the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars uh, team, you're going to want to make sure that you go ahead and, and put it on the auction house and sell it. Because if it's part of the Jalen Ramsey set, the Tom Brady set, like these are going to be the high the high class ones. Like Tom Brady says it's going to be wild. It's going to be crazy prices going on. You're going to have to make sure that you keep these cards, you know, very, very close knit. That's why right now I'm being very, very careful with what I'm trying, you know, the sets I'm trying to complete and stuff like that, because I know that a lot of these cards, now that they brought it back like this, it's going to be crazy. You know, it, 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 these type of things, I, I don't know if a lot of you guys want Le'Veon Bell. I wouldn't really go crazy over running back to start. Jadavion Clowney is very, very clutch, though. Um, you can see I already have a few cards that go into his set. All right. So, you know, TJ, I thought I had a TJ. I don't, oh, that's a JJ Watt. But, I, okay, the TJ Watt is on the Steelers. Okay, so, you know, pretty much I would have that card for Le'Veon Bell because I have the TJ Watt already. So he, I should, yeah, he, there he goes right there. So, and he's a great user, by the way, if you guys are wondering, um, you know, what's going on with that. So those are certain things that you're going to want to know. It's going to go by the name, you know, roads closed. These guys are going to have high value. Okay. Now what's going to happen? This is what happened in like, uh, what was that? Madden 15, was it Madden 16, right? Madden 16 and 15, when they had uh, player specific cards, what happens is people will get the card and then price it for wild, wild prices. Now, that's similar to what's going to happen now unless EA is able to produce a lot of these cards very, very quickly. People are going to be going crazy. You see what I'm saying? Like, is he going to be still going for 800K at the launch of Madden uh, 19? Probably not. Julio Jones, if you get anything going on in this, you better save it and hold on for it and, and just wait. Because that's going to be something else. He's going to be a very, very sick card at launch. Okay? So all of these cards, you're going to have to pick and choose which one means the most to you. I don't really see a lot of people being able to complete all of them unless you're wi willing to spend a whole lot of money. And to be honest, I don't see why you would complete Larry Fitzgerald unless you're looking for a decent slot receiver and a good blocker. But I'm looking for dudes on the outside to go deep. Uh, Melvin Gordon, you might get a couple things, a couple snipes with this card because... Um, you know, there's so many other running backs that are available. Plus, he's only a 90 overall team diamond, and you see Le'Veon Bell for a 92. So some of them are going to be a lot cheaper. Now, with the diamonds exchange, should you be, um, you know, using this and trying to figure out if you can get pulls? What's going to happen is this, right? You're going to have opportunities where you're going to complete this set, and you're going to get very, very rare cards that people just don't have. Okay, so that might turn out to be a very key thing in making a lot of coins in Madden Ultimate Team. Okay, so just be very, very careful with that uh, about how you proceed because sometimes when you make these um, these tokens, like for instance, I got to make one gold token and that's going to be 10 gold players, right? So if we go over to the, um, the token set and we take a look at how we earn tokens, right? And we go to the gold tokens, okay? 
we're going to have to go 70 to 74 and then 75 to 79. So look, when I click on these, right, if you start doing this and making tokens and don't sell early on or, you know, you do a lot of different things that can cost you, it's going to be really, really bad because this is what it is, right? You might be able to make a lot of base coins. That's just to say, like, if they're NAT players, put them in the set because we don't really care about the NAT players. But I'm talking specifically about, you know, the core players. Once you have these core players, be very, very careful how you utilize them. Because now that we know that they go team specific, these cards are going to be worth even that much more. All right. So that's why I've been very, very hesitant to do this. Now, if it comes down to it where I have to do it in order to make sure that, you know, certain things are getting done, will I do it? Absolutely. Okay. I'm going to probably, you know what I'm saying? It's going to make more sense for me to have to do that. Okay. And especially if I'm looking for a couple rare um, cards or it's 74 plus. So you guys might pull the elites out of it. You know, some of you guys are very lucky. So be, be very, very uh, aware of that, that that's a situation that we're going to have to tackle. Okay. So go through each one, see what's going on, see what the players are. All right. Like, like this guy, he might be going for a decent amount, whatever. But again, depending on the player's name and their usefulness in Madden 19 ultimate team, the price range is going to be crazy, but this is how you can complete any one of them. Focus on the one that you want and just start hunting down the cards. Hunt down the cards. And then what you do is once you complete it, if you complete it early, sell it. Because if you don't really want it and you're just looking for the cheapest one, you know what I'm saying, to get it done for whatever reason, go ahead, complete the set, sell it, and move on. That's what I would recommend to you guys. You can see that you get coins for completing certain ones, so you'll get a little bit back. Never will it give you back everything that you spent for it. They're just giving you something so that you can say that you got something done. That's pretty much what it is. All right, so be very, very careful with it, um, especially the Dallas Cowboys. Like, you already know, the price is going to be crazy. Like, Dak Prescott, Ezekiel Elliott, like, to get Travis Frederick, that's going to be crazy. You know what I'm saying? These elites are going to be going wild. So I would be very, very careful with that if you decide to go Team Diamond route. Um, if you have any other questions about the Team Diamonds, please leave it in the comment section below and let me know what you're, what you're planning on getting. Which, which Team Diamonds out of everyone I just showed you out of the 32 teams are you most interested in getting? Let me know. Until next time. One love.